In this video, we are going to go over how to get your file ready for submission. Uh, with our file right now, we've saved it out as a, a PSD file format, which is great. But one of the things that I want to do right now, I want to talk about resolution. Uh, in our previous slide presentation, we talked about our files within Photoshop. They're raster files, meaning that it's a collection of a, it's a data structure. How big is this file? Uh, let me go ahead and actually open up this file. So let me go ahead and switch to my finder and I'm going to locate this file. It's in my, uh, give me one quick moment, here it goes. Uh, I put this within Art 108 section, or oh, is it week two, Broom Library. If I look at this file, this file uh, it's 676 megabytes. That's a large file, especially if you're going to be submitting this file. That's going to take a long time depending on your network connection. Now, I do not want you to try to submit this file as is. If I look at the actual data structure, the resolution, this, this specific file is... 13,577 by 3,166, which is really large, which is really great if we are editing our image because we have lots of data. But for the submission of your part one of your project one, it's too large. So I'm going to show you how to resize this, but I want to stress out a very important note in that we are resizing your panorama images only for submission. So oftentimes students get confused. It's like, what do you mean? Because part one is submitting four panoramas and I want you to resize this so that the lower side is 900 pixels. In this case, it's gonna be this 3000. I want to drop it down to 900 and I want it to be proportional so that this number right here, the 13,000, will be uh, proportionally reduced down as well. We're going to do this within Photoshop. But that file that we are reducing down is only for submission. For the part two of your project one, you're going to select one of your panoramas. I want you to keep the high resolution image to use as your panorama that you will be further manipulating. So because of that, I'm going to show you how to make a copy of this file. So let's go back into Photoshop. And here is where I left off previously. I did my content aware fill. I straightened my image. I cropped it. I even did a very minute uh, image adjustment or uh, photo manipulation. I got rid of one of these persons using the content aware fill. Uh, if you're interested in that, you can go back and watch that video. But here I have this image, and I'm ready to save it. Now this has already been saved, high resolution. What I want you to do at this point for the submission portion, I want you to go to File, and let's tell it to Save As. When you do a Save As, this is making a copy. Plus, we are able to rename this file. I'm going to tell it to save this on my computer. And for the name. Uh, for your projects, I want you to sum submit your files. Let me just go ahead and uh, double check. I do believe that I want your files to be saved with your last name, first name, project one, uh, or panel one. But I'm just uh, looking that up at this moment. I just want to, I want to be sure. I want to be correct. And yes, it's your last name, first name. Uh, panel one, panel two. So I'm going to go ahead and do my last name. Now this is your last name. I'm using my last name. So my last name is Figaro, first name Aldo. Pano, say for example this is going to be my panel one. So I'm going to select the location that's going to be right here. Make sure that you still have Photoshop selected. I'm going to tell it to save. Maximize, com maximize compatibility, yes, I can tell it okay. And 
this is now a new file, a new copy of this file. So everything that I'm going to be doing to this file, I'm, I'll be able to use Command or Control S to update it. Uh, to see the actual resolution of my image, if you go into the image uh, menu, and if you go to image size, within this window, this gives you the details for your file. In order to be able to uh, resize your image, uh, you need to make sure that resampled is checked on. When this is checked off, this is only able to change the output, meaning that if you're going to, say, for example, print this out. Now, I don't. we're not going to print out this project. I want to resample this. And notice that some of this information has changed. I don't want it to be inches. Very important that you tell it to do pixels. So it gives us our, our information here. Now, what I want to do for the height, or whichever one of these two is lower. And the reason I say this is that many students might do a panorama that pans from left to right. But some people, some students, have also created a panorama that travels from top to bottom. So I want to say, for this example, for the height, I want to change this to 900. Since this little chain link is turned on, it's changing the proportion accordingly. So now, instead of being 13,000 by 3,000, it's 900 by just shy of 4,000 pixels, which makes a lot smaller data structure, which is going to create a smaller file size well, that will be easier to submit. It's still going to contain all of your different layers, so I'll be able to see your work. But this file, I would not want you to, this specific file, I would not want you to choose for your project two, or sorry, project one part two, because it's reducing some of that information. I'm going to tell it OK. Once I tell it OK, it reduces it down. I could still see it. I'm going to press uh, Command or Control 1 to zoom in. And for my purposes, I could still see the contents of your image. But when I press Command-1, you notice that it looks fine, but the other one was a lot higher resolution. I was able to zoom in. At this point, I'm going to press Command or Control-S to save my file. And this file, technically, it's ready for submission. Now, before I continue, though, I do want to mention some of the things is that in that at this point, I could still go to undo to bring back my image at the high resolution. But what you're not able to do, say if I was to close this file, I, and I'll do that right now. I'm going to close this file. And this is a, another file. I'm going to close this one right here. Don't save. And I could see within my uh, Photoshop uh, home window, I'm able to see my file that I just closed right here. Now, notice that I have two different versions. This is the Broom Library Panorama, which is a high-resolution image. And this is the one that I saved. I reduced some of the, uh, the file size uh, so that it's easier to, for submission. I'm going to open up this image, for example. And what if I decide to, it's like, well, I already did this one. What if I just go to Edit Undo? Well, there is no more undos. I can't undo because I closed down that window. Well, what if I just go back to image image size and I tell it to go back to 3,000 pixels? Technically, we could do this, but the question is, where is that information coming from? Uh, it's going to have to generate it. Uh, under resample, there are different ways of being able to create information. Uh, so. For, for for example, I'm going to just go ahead and tell it to do automatic so that it will automatically decide what would be the best way. And if I tell this OK, what this is doing, uh, this is only for a demonstration. It is recreating your image. It's adding that information. When I zoom in, notice how my image looks fuzzy. I can press Command or, or, or Control-0. I'm sorry, Command or Control-1. And you can see that before, I was able to see the details. And now it looks it looks soft. It looks fuzzy. So this is not the method that I would want you to, to work uh, to recreate that information. 
Uh, at this point, I'm going to simply un undo Command or Control Z. So this takes me back at the resolution at this for this file, which is back at 900. This is good for submission for your part one or project one. Uh, this is not good for further editing your image. In that case, use the higher resolution. If you have any questions about this, please get in contact with me. Uh, I want to just stress the idea that we are resizing this for submission. Uh, this file has been saved. Let me go back to my window here to show you. This image, the high resolution, is 676 megabytes, whereas this refined version that is smaller is only 61 megabytes. That is a lot easier to upload and won't take as much time. So you can see that the resolution is, is a lot lower. But when I go back into Photoshop here, I still have my layers. I could still see that you use your at least four images to create your panorama. And I could see if you started to do any type of photo manipulations, which you're not required to do at this time. You do not need to do one of these fills. But if you do, I'll be able to look at that. So your task now is to create your panoramas. Now you have the tools. You're able to shoot your panoramas. You're able to bring your files into the computer. You're able to use Photoshop to create your panoramas. And what you could do, you could s jump straight to resizing them. I don't mind if they have the edges where we could see transparent pixels. I want to see that you shot them and created them in Photoshop and make sure that you resize them so that the lower side of either the height or width is at 900 pixels. If you decide to use the content aware fill, if you decide to do to straighten and crop, that is optional. I want you to shoot them at the very least, compose them in Photoshop, resize your images, make sure that they're labeled properly and they're submitted. So that concludes the video uh, demonstrations for this week. Let me know if you have any questions or if you need any assistance, and I'll see you uh, uh, either in class or hopefully soon. Good luck.